Now it's time to meet our Northeast Iowa High School Athlete of the Week, Trent Tempson of NU High. Trent Tempson of NU High just keeps on running and running. Last year, he ran away with the Class 1A State Cross Country Championship as a sophomore. And this year, he did it again, with his closest competitor 17 seconds behind. Every time he steps on a, on a track or on a cross country course, he wants to be the best. He's disappointed if he doesn't run as well as he should, uh, or as well as he thinks he should even though he might win the race. I know he's been disappointed a couple times where he's won a race by 30 seconds and felt that he didn't run well. What's it feel like to win a state championship? It feels pretty good. It really doesn't sink in until a couple days after the meet. You know, it's just like another meet. And then when you really think about it, and especially after our team got first, that really did it. That's just all that mattered to me, and that made it all feel a lot better. This year, he set seven course or meet records and was one of only three runners to break the 10-minute mark at the state meet. As a coach, it's nice to have an athlete as dominant as a Trent Tempson on your team, but it can create problems as well. Well, it makes it real tough because sometimes uh, when he's doing a workout, he'll be so far ahead of everybody else that it makes it hard. But we do a lot of stuff where we run uh, timed intervals and where we'll run hard and then easy. And a lot of times he'll be back with the, with the kids that maybe aren't quite the most talented, but he'll be running with them and it gives them a good feeling knowing that the state champion will take time enough off to, uh, to work with them and is concerned about their progress as far as the team is also. So far, Trent's handled his success well, but the true test will come next year as a senior. After accomplishing almost all his goals in two years, what can he shoot for now? There's a lot of stuff left to do. It's the state record, I kind of blew that. And there's just all sorts of other records and stuff that I have a chance to go for. And so that's how I get myself motivated, just try to go for those records. Congratulations to Trent Tempson of NU High, our Northeast Iowa High School Athlete of the Week. And if you have somebody that you'd like to nominate as our High School Athlete of the Week, give us a call or drop us a line here at Channel 7. Uh, I was lucky it was only one lap that I had time with this. I would have been left behind like everybody else, I think. He's a great one, isn't he? Yeah, nice guy, too. Sure, thanks, Bob. In the dugout, he'll be ready for game six. Well, sports is full of great individual confrontations. Ali versus Frazier, Borg versus McEnroe, and Hammonds versus Timpson. Greg Rittman reports that one will take place a week from Saturday in Ames. Trent Timpson of NU High is surrounded by competitors here but there's another who is especially on his mind. I have a picture of Jeff Hammonds up on my wall <laughs> from the summer when he was, there was an article about him in the Des Moines Register and I have it right up on my wall. I look at it every day. Sure Both Timson and Hammonds won their district races today. They've battled each other all through high school. Last spring, Hammonds won two state titles in track. Timson had to miss out because of an injury. They did meet earlier this fall right here at North Lynn. Hammonds won that time even though he wasn't here. Today, it was really in my mind if how I could run on myself. And I came across in the mile mark the same time I did with him. And the last time we raced, I was really working to come across that time. And today, it seemed really easy. So I know I'm in a lot better shape, and I'm ready to go now. So their final cross-country matchup is set. It will take place a week from this Saturday in Ames. And I don't know if I'll be able to handle it by the time state comes. I get so nervous thinking about it. I think about it all the time in school and at home. It's going to be tough. I just can't wait till next week's over with. Over in Marengo, Jeff Hammonds is probably feeling the same way. Greg Rittman, TV9, Eyewitness Sports. At that Northland district today, the boys' side, Eldora, Dyke, NU, and Shellsburg qualify for state. On the girls' side, Eldora, Key, Northland, and Nashua.